Let's discuss deadlifting for pregnant women today. So <laughs> there's this usually big thing in the uterus area that kind of gets in the way when you're pregnant. And so if you think about maybe a standard conventional deadlift where your feet are really close together, as you bend over, your knees come up into the belly region and that can be pretty uncomfortable. So you may, if you're used to that, you may have to switch to a slightly wider stance. It doesn't have to be this crazy wide sumo deadlifter stance, but it could be just maybe a little bit wider and you let your knees, you let your toes turn out a little bit and you let your knees come out even more when you're doing your deadlift. You might have a little more trouble with something like a trap bar deadlift versus a wider stance barbell deadlift, but play around with these different foot positions because they can be helpful. The other main thing that I'm doing with anybody who's at risk for something like this, uh, who, who needs to prioritize their uh, the baby that's growing inside of them, I'm not giving you anything super heavy, right? I don't want you having to hold your breath to clamp down, to increase a bunch of pressure, to increase your blood pressure. Uh, sometimes those things can be risky. So in, in general, all I'm giving you is a cardio variation of a deadlift. I'm making you do it at least 10 times and I'm making sure that you are breathing in on the way down, out on the way up, in on the way down, out on the way up, and just trying to keep your motion going, keep your muscles working so maybe you get some leg fatigue but you don't have to bear down so much.